Howdy, I'm Union Rodder, and this is another episode of Brew Vision. And today, we got a, yet another beer from a, from a trade. This time, it's a Pork Slap Farmhouse Pale Ale, which I'm going to serve as a Saison, from Butternut Beer and Ale, in Garrettsville, New York. Pork slap. <laughs> Sounds like it just go really good with uh, pulled pork or something, doesn't it? Well, let's, let's get into it and see what we got here. Ooh, well, you can smell that already. This one of those Libby's craft beer glasses from Aldi's. It's like $12.99 for six of them. A little cloudy, but it's got a lot of carbonation. As you can see, it's got a lot of head. It's off-white, like a demonstration cream color. Oh man, you can smell citrusy hops in that one. A better look here. You can, you can probably see the carbonation there a little. Typical golden amber blush sort of color. That definitely smells like a pale ale. All the, the sea hops. Let's get out of it. Ooh, wow. Well, we call it a farmhouse sale, but it doesn't, it doesn't taste like a... Uh, well, it, it, some of them are described as barnyardy. You know, I'll leave it to you to your imagination to figure that out. This has a smooth, uh, smooth malt that mixes really well with the hops used. There's some sea hops in there, but there's another one that Amarillo, Fuggle, something that's it's not just earthy, but it's got the uh, like a earthy, floorly sweetness that mixes with, with you know, what little uh, crystal malt you might have used in this, which isn't a lot. It seems to be balanced really well against the hops. Somebody worked on that one. Oh, that's the first back is pretty good for average colored pale ale. Well, the, due to technical difficulties, the video got chopped off, so let's try this this second taster again. We've got Weyerbacher uh, Imperial Pumpkin Ale. It's 8%. Just found that at Giant Eagle. They got a lot of the new fall beers coming in. You see that W? They got the fancy silk screening on the cap. I haven't seen one that elaborate before. Ooh, you can smell the spices. It's got some definitely, it's definitely got some fall, fall amber color to it, doesn't it? Well, this one doesn't have as much carbonation. Decent off-white head, that's a good finger plus a little bit. You can smell a little bit of uh, molasses -y spice to it. Let's uh, give it a taste. Let's go on. Mm. 
tastes like it's got dark brown sugar in it. The spices, cinnamon and allspice maybe, that's about as much as I'm getting. You can definitely taste like dark brown sugar. You can give, definitely get a molasses hit. So, I would say that the, I don't know, if there's pumpkin in there, it it's, would be very, very caramelized. And because the dark brown sugar ended up with the heavier hit of molasses mixing with the spice, you don't taste the pumpkin out real, pumpkin real well in my opinion. Decent color though, that definitely got a fall color to it. Definitely getting that dark brown sugar thing with it. I'm gonna say allspice and, and cinnamon. Got a little bit of veneer head there. So that part's okay, but I'm not getting the pumpkin and there's a lot of molasses head in there. I think they need to lighten up on that a little bit. So far as pumpkin beers are concerned, I would I don't know, I might give this one a three out of five tops two and a half maybe. It's just that molasses funk masking the pumpkin and it's making the spices taste like it taste dark to where you, you can maybe pick out some cinnamon and a lot of allspice. That's about it. So I think they sacrificed a little something making an imperial out of this one. And you know, some, some, some types of beer I think you can only go so far before you're just uh, throwing good after bad. But there's Mayor Bopper, Imperial Pumpkin Ale. You guys uh, may try this if you have already. If you haven't, try it. And rate, rate, comment, subscribe down below there and let me know what you think. Good Lord rule and the crease don't rise. We'll see you again. Let's